Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar un par de minutitos para ver si se unen un par de compañeros, pero cualquier cosa por acá va a estar. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. We will wait just one or two more minutes just to wait for the rest of the people to join. Okay, hey, Osea. Hello. Hello, Rene. How are you? Fine. Fine. Listen. Listen. The new teacher. Hey, what's popping, guys? Yeah. What's your name, teacher? Yeah, nice to meet you. My name is Eric. Eric Asensio. Eric Asensio. And I will be your teacher for this module. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And uh, it's going to be, uh, I like to speak a lot. I like to uh, to make you speak and analyze. And we are going to share very good moments. So uh, if you have questions, you can interrupt me at any time. And of course, it will be a pleasure to have you, OK? OK. Very good. We are going to start with the presentation that is about what we do here, right? So, And then we are going to introduce ourselves and some other things. So. As you know, this is going to be the intermediate model three. So welcome to this course. Uh, for the ones that are joining right now, my name is Eric, Eric Asensio, and I will be your teacher. It's a pleasure. So let's check some things here, okay? Let's see. Okay. So uh, as rules, you know, you know, these rules already, I guess, but anyways, we can check into that. We need to have 80% of the homeworks and evaluations uh, finished. So this is something very important. That's why we need to check into the platform and do all the exercises. You know, that is very easy. Sometimes there are some challenges, but of course I will be helping you on that. So all the homeworks are in the platform and we need to finish every homework after the class. Only for the week, let me remember week number two and three, we're going to have all that uh, one class. Now it's two classes and one homework, something like that. So uh, all the homeworks are from cover topics that we have checked already. And we have to finish all of those at least on Friday. Because on Saturday in the morning, we send the grades to Insiform. So it's very important that you are on time with the platform. Okay. And... Uh, we are going to do the midterm test on the 25th of September at last, okay? So it's very important. We can do it maybe one day before, uh, but not one day after. And we are going to finish the classes on October 9th, okay? So that is the last day. So we need to finish everything by that date. Uh, you can download the manual, but I, I see that you have the manual on the chat group already. Okay, we don't use any third people, let's say, material. Do you have any questions by now? No. Okay. In Spanish or in English, you can ask me questions. No worries. Okay. I, I, I want a question. Go ahead. Okay. I couldn't uh, long in by the Zoom password. 
Uh, I, I was checking that one, but you were able to do it with the link. Or, or what happened? Yes, only only link in the, oh. the platform. Okay. Creo eh. que esa es la, la anterior que teníamos antes. Por eso no, no funciona la contraseña. Voy a volver a enviar esto. Yo estuve revisando y es la que teníamos en el módulo pasado, esa contraseña. Entonces, no iba. Ok, my friend. ¿Verdad que sí? Yo también es, yes, es because uh, I didn't use the, the currently uh, password. Is the last. Ah, exacto. Mm, okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Lo que pasa es que quizá por eso no se van a poner a conectar muchos porque están poniendo, intentando poner esa. Tiene que ser con el enlace. Ok. Déjame ver si lo podemos enviar acá. Pero el enlace sí es el que está bien ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, yo después de intentar ese, dije, bueno, bueno, voy a probar con el enlace. Y ahí sí, sí pude. Ok, ahorita lo estoy enviando. Perfecto, gracias ahí por el heads up. Eh, ya lo envía, ojalá que todos se puedan poner, ¿verdad? Perfecto. All right. Eh, entonces, requerimientos, hay que tener el nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Eso, ustedes ya tienen experiencia, ¿verdad? Yo sé que ustedes saben todas estas cosas. Igual medio las revisamos siempre en la primera clase. Eh, oyentes, creo que no hay, así que no hay que poner ahí la palabra oyente. La cámara tiene que estar encendida durante toda la sesión. Esto es importante porque es un requerimiento de Insafor. Entonces, yo sé que a veces llegamos cansados, ¿verdad? Que, de hecho, pues, si ustedes tienen hambre y llegan del trabajo, pueden estar cenando en la clase, no hay ningún problema. ¿eh? Tomando sus cafecitos o algo por el estilo. No problem. Y pues, y, y cuando vayamos participando, pues, simplemente participa y sigue comiendo. No problem. Pero lo de la cámara sí es importante que lo tengamos encendido, ¿verdad? Eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible quiere decir que hay que poner mute cuando no estemos participando y cuando ya participamos ahí sí lo abrimos y la participación activa a mí me gusta mucho pues la lectura ahí van a ver que vamos a leer bastante y de repente vamos a practicar también eh, la platicada me gusta platicar bastante así de que es importante esa parte eh, do you have any questions by now questions before we continue no it's all clear teacher Good. Okay. La asistencia es al 100% de las clases. Esto es muy importante. Hay que venir a todas las clases. Se deben cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase. Eh, entonces, acá hay un sistema en Zoom que usted se conecta y ahí se, se guarda cuántos minutos usted estuvo conectado. Entonces, es importante esta parte de que nos conectemos a la clase. Se toma la asistencia en dos puntos, al principio, no la he pasado todavía, y al final de la clase. Usted me dice presente, present, here, y yo pues le tomo la asistencia. ¿Ok? Uh, ah, bueno, es lo que dice al final. Eh, las sesiones también, eh, recuérdense que hay sesiones one on one al final de cada clase, siempre en el orden que se pasa lista. Entonces, se quedan ahí cinco o diez minutitos, pues si tienen preguntas, dudas o quieren practicar algo, ese es el momento. Eh, no hay permisos disponibles. Esto es un requerimiento de INSAFOR. Ahora, todos sabemos de que tenemos a veces emergencias, estamos enfermos o algo por el estilo. Lo que yo les recomiendo es que se conecten ¿Verdad? Y aunque estén enfermos, solo de oyente, oyente. Solo me pone ahí, mire, ahora estoy enfermo, estoy en una reunión de trabajo, pero que se conecte para que los 120 minutos le cuente. Eso es importante. ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta ahorita. ¿Any questions? Ok. Ok, eh, en cuanto a Zoom, el botón de silencio es muy importante. La cámara nuevamente está, tiene que estar encendida. Yo sé, pues como les digo, que están a veces comiendo o cansados, pero no importa. O sea, como sea, pues vamos a estar en clase. El chat lo podemos utilizar. A veces usamos los breakout rooms ¿verdad? para platicar con uno u otro compañero, hacer algún análisis, alguna eh, dinámica. Eh, pueden levantar la mano en cualquier momento. Respeto ante todo, ¿verdad? So, That is very, very important. And this is the first class, but we're not going to check into that yet. Uh, do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta duda hasta ahorita? All 
Okay, I will try to speak only in English because this is intermediate. Um, you can ask if possible only in English, but if you don't understand anything, let me know, okay, in English or in Spanish, and I will explain in different ways. Uh, in English, it's very important first to understand and then to practice. So if you don't understand something, that is very important. Second, sometimes I ask something, I ask you to participate. It's very important for you to participate in class. That is very important, okay? So it doesn't matter if you do mistakes. That is normal, my friends. Even, even the American people that they speak only English, even they do mistakes. So don't worry for the mistakes, okay? And I'm going to correct you, and you are going to improve your English. That is very important. Okay, and I want to check with you the platform, okay? This is the platform, so as you can see here, and uh, we're going to start with unit number one, but you can see the whole course here. Four sections, as I was telling you, the second one, is going to be a little bit different, okay, because it's going to be longer. And we have, after the section two, we have the meet and test. So if you go to the course here, you will see that at the end of the section number two, we have the meet term test. And when you go, remember this, when you go to the meet and test, it has four parts. So we need to finish the first part, okay, and you submit that, and then you have to do the second part, the third part, the fourth part, and then you can move on to the other, okay? So that is very, very important. And also here you can find the book, the manual, but of course I know that you downloaded that one. So this is the book that we're going to use. You can print it, you can have it there online, uh, of course, I'm going to show you here the book so we can move on into that one, okay? Uh, I have a question for you. Everybody has access to the platform? Did you try to access the platform already? ¿Ya intentamos acceder a la plataforma y todos tenemos acceso a la plataforma? Yes, teacher. I tried. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so... If you have the access to the platform, we just have to move on, right? So as I was showing you, this is the class number one. And then tonight, we need to do the class activity. That is this one. Only five, four questions. Click the correct one, and that's it. It's going to be very, very easy. Good, nice. Okay, so we are going to start by introducing ourselves. Of course, that is something that we have to do. Of course, I'm going to be first. So my name is Eric Asensio. I live in Santa Ana. I work at Talos International. So I teach English because I like to teach, uh, but it's not my, my job. I have other jobs. And then at night I come here and teach classes because it's very interesting you know, to know people, to uh, help people to improve their English is, is something that I really, really like. Uh, I like music a lot. I play the guitar, the bass, a little bit of drums. I like to read. I like to watch movies. I like to ride my motorbike. I like soccer and a lot of other sports. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight and all this module, okay, is fantastic. So uh, this is me. If you have questions for me, you can ask me at any time. And then it's your time to introduce yourself. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? What do you like to do? Why are you here learning English? Okay, so who wants to be the first one? Uh -huh. I can start. Teacher. Very good. Go ahead, please. Uh, good night, partners and teacher. My name is Paul Hernandez. I'm a journalist. I work for Elim 
for Elim Church in social media. Uh, I'm studying a master in human rights. And I'm here because I want to improve my English and I want to have I want to have better opportunities for my job. And I'm happy to be here with you. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So you're a journalist. Do you write in a journal or just for the church? Just for the church. Okay, interesting. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Who wants to be the next one? Me. Okay, please go ahead. And I am engineer. I want to learn English for a for uh, do it very well my work thank you very good perfect thank you and uh, do you have any hobbies do you watch movies do you like to play video games something like that uh, yes i i like uh, the baseball i like to uh, see the games in the tv and uh, the um other uh, sports very good, interesting. Baseball. What is your favorite team in baseball? The New York. Very good. I really love the New York Yankees. Those are amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, they, they, they are have uh, the the best uh, the best uh, the híjole, ¿cómo se dice uniform? Uniform. Uh, the best uniform of the. Uh, uh, Big leader. Definitely. Yeah, very good. I really like that. I have some cups of them. And it's very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ramiro. And nice to meet you. Okay. Hello. Who wants? Ah, very good. Oscar. Hey, my name is Oscar. You tell me Rene Molina. Okay. I am engineer and I, my hobby is, uh, uh, ride a mountain bike and read and learn and uh, English for the new opportunities is the I, I like the traveling different different uh, states for you the United States is to practice practice English is very important okay Definitely perfect. How often do you ride your bike? Yes, I ride. I ride in the and El Espino, Santa Tecla, La Falda del Volcán. Ah, that is a long yeah. trip. Yes, I live in uh, Santa Tecla. Nice, very good, perfect. So, thank you and welcome to the class. Okay. Nice. Who wants to be the next one? Me. Very good. Uh, my name is Oseas. I am an industrial engineer. Um, I live in Metapan. So I'm studying English because I like English. Um, um, because I want to to improve it. Um, to have another opportunities. So I I like to watch movies. Uh, I like to learn new things. Um, that's it. Very good, perfect. So, what kind of movies do you like? I like horror movies. I love them. Yeah, horror movies are very good. Cool. Sometimes, if we have the chance, sometimes I like to speak about anything, and maybe we're gonna discuss about movies. So that's a good thing. Nice. <laughs> perfect. Welcome to the class. Very nice. Who wants to be the next one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, good night, everybody. My name is Juan Roberto Velasquez Romero. Uh, my job is budget budget manager, and I have 28 years old, and I like soccer and ride motorcycle, and I live in, in Candelaria de la Frontera. 
Oh, in Mayan, we are very close. I live in Santa Ana. It's very nice. And uh, so do you have a motorbike? Do you, yeah. how, how often do you drive or do you ride your motorbike? Mm, uh, weekends. Yeah, me too on the weekends. On the day, sometimes it's not possible because of the job. Uh, yeah. But yeah, on the weekends, it's nice to, to ride a little bit, right? Yeah. Be careful because it's kind of dangerous sometimes. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you and welcome to the class. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Uh, Blanca, okay. Good morning, partners. Partners, my name is Blanca Isabel Tunata. I live in Sonsonate. I live in Sonsonate. Um, I I have a degree in public public accounting. I I work in a poultry company. I am fifty four years old. I like to run in in the morning. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Blanca. So, do you run every day? Three years in weekend. Mm, okay, very good, very interesting. Thank you and welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, good evening, class. My name is Eric Reyes. Um, I am an accounting assistant. Uh, I live in Prado de Mariona. Uh, my hobbies are play soccer, listen to music and watch movies. And most of the time I practice English. I try to improve and that's why uh, I'm here now uh, learning English. Because as you know, um, English opens the doors and give uh, new opportunities. That is true. So you are so right, you know, for everybody. Um, I have a degree, I have a major degree in business administration and a master degree, and I have a lot of other things. But English has opened me a lot of doors. English is amazing. So you are right, and your name is fantastic. Okay, very good. So we're going to continue with, who wants to be the next one? Okay, Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Uh, good night and good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Ernesto Andrade. Currently, I work at World Vision. World Vision is a NGO. Uh, it's a very good uh, work because uh, I travel to the different community in El Salvador for the well-being of the children in the communities and why why I study English because for my job for very communicate with different donors and sponsors in the other countries and for my job and I like to to travel and meet the different person in the different cultures. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Ernesto. And you are right. Sometimes, yeah, when you travel and you meet people from other cultures, you understand the world better, right? Um, it's amazing how people are different. I mean, sometimes even here in El Salvador, if you go to San Miguel, it's totally different. But if you go to other countries, if you go... Do any I have I haven't been in Africa, but I met some people from Africa and they are so different. People from India, from China, amazing how is everything different. Open the mind, open the mind. Yes. Very good, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you and you. welcome to the class. Good. Who wants to be the next one? Good evening, class. Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Veronica Hernandez. I am living in Sal in, Ilo in Ilo Vasco. I work tax and senior. It's a pleasure to receive English class with you. I like uh, listen to music, uh, run, and sleep. 
Yeah. Mm, okay, very good. Thank you. And uh, what kind of music do you like? Talking Spanish and English. <laughs> oh, very good, Rock. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing that kind of music. You are one of mine. Very good. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Anybody else's? Still a few missing. Miko. Okay. My name is, uh, good, good evening, everyone. My name is Mauricio Rivera. I live in San Salvador. I work at Conecta. It's a call center. I work in a Spanish account. Uh, I want to learn English because I want. I would like to travel to other countries, and English is the most common language that that are used in all in all the world. And my hobbies are playing video games, watching movies, listening music. And I used I used to play football, but I left around six years ago because I got married and I have responsibility. <laughs> But I I would like to play football again. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Mauricio. Yeah, life changes, right? That happens. And what are your favorite video games? Sorry. Yeah, what are your favorite video games? Uh, my favorite video game is The Legend of Zelda. The Ocarina of Time is the best. I have never played that one. I have to play that one. You know, I I. Never had a Nintendo, but I had, uh, well, an Xbox One and PlayStation. So I know a lot of titles, but that one is something I never played. So I have to play that. They say that it's amazing. The story is amazing, they say. Yes, yes, you have to try. Okay, very good. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Okay, anybody else? Is, who's missing? I'm the next. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Eduardo. I live in San Vicente. I am a cashier in a little bank in, in, in this city. Um, I want to try to uh, improve my English because um, I like a study. I like uh, uh, aprender inglés. Um, Eh, hace mucho tiempo estuve estudiándolo, pero eh, quiero volver a agarrar de nuevo. Entonces, eh, it's, it's all. Ok, very good, perfect. Welcome to the class in San Vicente. Right? Is, is it hot in San Vicente? Oh, yes. It's, it's very hot. Very hot. All right. right. I never been... Let me remember. No, I never been in San Vicente. Yes, once I remember now, a long time ago. Yeah, it, it's hot there. I remember. It's now. hot. Yes. Okay. Very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? Me. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I am Maria Julia. Um, I I am a content. I like my job. Um. Is uh, it's a, my my I like I like a uh, learned a uh, book is a uh, uh, the the mercad merc mercado financiero I I learn uh, English for 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 Joe, I I learned English for my my travels. Uh, is is a uh, learned English for hobby. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. That is a very nice hobby, and yeah, you know the financial English is a very interesting part. So there are many things that you can learn and. Uh, I know it's difficult because if you have an accounting in El Salvador, for example, and you want to move that to international figures, uh, it's totally different. But it's very I, interesting. It's very inter interesting. And uh, um, 
I like is a is a is 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 a is a mercados. Entonces no me cuesta como entender los términos. Para mí es como más fácil entender esos términos que otros términos. Okay, interesting. Very good. That is nice. So yeah. I don't remember if we're going to speak about financial things, but there is a book, a whole book that is about financial. So you are going to enjoy that one. The report, mer the report market today is a rate, uh, uh, interest rate uh, is, is a... Uh, is is a index the bolsa is a stock is option yes okay very good perfect so we're going to discuss about that one later on thank you and welcome to the class all right who's going to be the next one thank you me okay sandra hello 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 partners my name hello. is sandra <laughs> i live in morasan arambala specific um I work, my work is, is a general manager in hotel and restaurant. I, I like uh, aprender inglés. Uh, es mi sueño. Thank you. Very good. Welcome to your dreams. So, yeah, it's very important, you know. Uh, sometimes we believe the English is just for work or things, but no, you enjoy music in a different level. Movies, you know, sometimes you understand what they are saying and they are saying something different than the subtitles. So then you know, you know what they are saying, right? Jokes in English are totally different. So there are many things that we can do with English. Very good. Thank you, Sandra, and welcome to the class. Who's the next one? A few missing only. Okay, I am Silvia Patricia. I live in Santa Tecla. I want to learn English because I need to obtain better opportunities. And just that. Ah, and I like to listen to news in my free time and sleep. All right. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, what is it? Is it all of them? All, all of them. Ah, all of them. Paquita del Barrio, everything. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For, um, pop, country, um, okay. uh, salsa. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh, um, no recuerdo. No <laughs> okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. And welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Just a few are missing. Can you listen to me? Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, uh, good evening. Uh, yeah. My name is Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla, and actually, I'm working as an English teacher in a private school. Um, I like spending time with my friends and with my children as well. Um, my favorite hobby is to go to the gym, listen to music and watch um, series with my children. Okay, very good, interesting. <laughs> and uh, what are your favorite, what are your favorite series that you have seen? Um, I like different kinds of series, for example, Friends. Is the best theory, I guess. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> oh, Friends is, is very popular, very good. So, and it's yeah. very long, right? So, I remember that, like, I don't know, seven or ten seasons. Very good, interesting. Welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> it was hard to join in this meeting. <laughs> yeah, I heard that the link was not but working. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> very good. Welcome. <Yeah. laughs> All right, very good. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Amaya. I live in Santa Tecla. 
I like to listen to pop music, Spanish, Spanish and English. I studied English at E4CC four years ago, but I had to withdraw due to schedules. And I am here. Okay, very well. Thank you and uh, welcome to the class, Jennifer. And uh, what kind of music do you say that you listen to? Uh, music pop, Spanish and English. Mm, okay, pop. Very good. Perfect. Thank you and welcome to the class. All right, who was next? We're almost done. Me. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Carla Castillo. I live in San Miguel and I work at a Christian school. I really like English and I want to improve my English too. I enjoy very, very much to spend time with my friends, with my family. And uh, I like to walk, that's all. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, how often do you go out for walks? Mm, every day. Okay, I, work every, I, I walk every day. Nice, that is very good, perfect. Thank you, welcome to the class, Carla. Thank you. All right, who wants to be the next one? Okay, let me choose from the few. Uh, Roberto Carlos. We can't hear you, Roberto. I don't know. No. It's still mute. I see that's still muted. Maybe you have just to press on the microphone. We can't hear you. I don't know if you are able to hear us. No, we don't listen to you. Okay, no worries. Maybe you can figure it out. It seems that is the uh, the interface where you have to just click on the button. Uh, let's see then who's still missing. Jonathan Figueroa. Hi, teacher. Hi, class. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Jonathan. I am 24 years old. I'm living in San Salvador City. And I'm working in a, a logistic company right now. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very good, perfect. And welcome to the class. Uh, Monica Avalos. Hi, my name is Monica. I am 27 years old. Um, I work at Calvanisa like a seller. Um, I like to watch love, love movies and spend my time with my family. And my favorite food is Chinese food. And my favorite um, music is pop music. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. And welcome to the class. Uh, who else is missing? Let me see. Uh, Jose Alfredo, I guess, is missing. Espera, espérame un momentito, teacher. Un momentito, okay, momentito. okay. No problem. Who else is missing? Nobody else, right? I guess everybody did it. See? Yeah, I guess everybody did it. So uh, for the ones that just joined, my name is Eric Asensio. I will be your teacher for this module. Uh, you can ask me any questions in the class. Uh, and also you can chat with me in the group all chat uh, and also in, I mean, 
just with me. If you want to chat directly with me, that is also possible, not a problem, okay? Everybody has access to the chat, right? To the WhatsApp group, okay? And everybody has access to the platform, right? So we are set over there. Uh, go ahead, Jose. Okay. Okay, good evening, partners. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is uh, Jose Alfredo. Uh, I'm 29 years old. I am assistant engineer. Uh, I live uh, in, in the department La Paz. Uh, my favorite hobby is play soccer and watch movies and uh, exercise. Okay, very good. What kind of movies do you like? Uh, my favorite movie is Gladiador. Oh, that is amazing. Gladiator. So it's a very nice movie. I remember I have seen that like three or four times, I guess. It's a very nice movie. Yeah, the whole thing is amazing. The photography, the everything is nice. So very good. Welcome to the yeah. class then. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. very good. So let's practice then a little bit of English. So I'm going to show you the presentation and let's get into that one right now. Let's check here. Okay. All right. So uh, the first topic that we're going to check is about product life cycle vocabulary. So there are many things related to this one. Sometimes when we read uh, vocabulary or when we read in general, we are going to find a lot of vocabulary and a lot of new words. So this is the opportunity for us to get more vocabulary, okay? We are going to read and then we're going to check pronunciation and then we're going to check vocabulary. So who wants to read the first one, anybody? Okay, go ahead, Ernesto. Me? Okay, teacher, teacher uh, I, I read the, the first line. Uh, yes, the first the first one, the climbing stage. Okay, the climbing stage, the product life cycle stage in which sales and profits falls rapidly. Very good. So that is the climbing stage. The name of that one is... Uh, about the product life cycle stage in which sales and profits fall rapidly. So that means that it's very fluid, everything is very fast. Uh, I have a question for everybody. What is profits? Anybody knows? In English, please, if you want to try. What is profit? Mm -hmm. Ingresos, ganancias. 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 Okay, so it's the money that you have after your expenses, right? So it's the profit. the profit. Very good. So that is it. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next one. Who wants to read the next one? Me. Okay, go ahead. The product mix, a description of the depth of business product mix, offering a great many items in the product line. Okay, very good. So I believe this is kind of clear, right? The product mix is a description that tells you that a lot of products are mixed, that a company offers a lot of products uh, to the market, to the stores and things like that one. Uh, let me think. Items. What is items? Anybody knows or can tell me? Okay. Options. Options, yeah. articles, very good. Options, article, things. Bullet. <laughs> very good. So that is it. If you have a question about a word or vocabulary or pronunciation, let me know. Okay. So that's why we're here. The other one says depth. Very good. Who wants to read depth? I want to try. Go ahead, please. Okay. Depth. Under one product, how many sub products? Company providers, or how how many pro batteries 
varieties. Have varieties. Company have for that product. Okay, that is that. It says under one product, how many sub products company provides, or how many varieties company have for that product. So it's like you have one product, but in different sizes, different colors, different flavors. So it's kind of a variety of the same product, and you have many varieties of that one. Uh, so that is that. Okay. Any question here? In this one. Do you understand what yes, is that? Teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I question. Go ahead. What is that? I mean, depth is that one. Depth. We're speaking about product life cycle, right? When you speak, when you say, uh, "I have a depth of products," that means that you have many varieties, many combinations of a product. So you have a lot of subcategories of the same product. So that oh, okay. is like that. Okay, okay. Very good. Perfect. That, Who wants per pronunciation? Pronunciation? That. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Who wants to read the next one? Me. Okay. I, okay, okay. Go ahead. Introductory stage. The product life cycle stage when the product first appears in the marketplace. Okay, very good. So introductory stage, the product life cycle stage when the product first appears in the marketplace. I believe you understand this. When you have a new product and you are going to launch that to the market. So you say, for example, I don't know, the banks or the restaurant, they say, we have something new for you, something amazing, something very special. And they launch that product. So that is the name of that stage is introductory stage okay when you prepare the product and you give it to the public to the audience that will be introductory stage good um any questions you know what is stage right no Anybody? okay stage is like how can i say that when you have etapa exactly that way stage so there are different steps that you do in this case we are speaking about uh, the product life cycle that means that when you create a product you have different stages different steps that you do you have an idea you you investigate you research about the size and the product and many other things then you research about the pricing then you prepare the product and launch to the public. Uh, then you do marketplace, then you analyze. So those are different stages. You have the first stage, the second stage, and there you go, one by one. Good. Uh, let me see if there is any question now. Okay, the next one says growth stage. Anybody wants to read that one? Growth stage. Me, yeah. it's like growth stage, the product's Life cycle the stage it it which sell sells rise rapidly. rapidly rapidly very good so that is growth stage the product life cycle stage in which sales rise rapidly so you expect that everybody loves your product and that everybody wants to buy your product so that is the growth stage when you launch a product when you sell a product and everybody wants to buy that one. And I mean, the sales are rising a lot. So they are increasing a lot of sales. So the name of that one is called growth stage. Uh, rise, what is rise, anybody? Rise is... Uh... Elevarse. Elevarse, incrementarse. Increase, very good. Increase. It's a synonym of increase. Very good. Maturity stage. Anybody wants to read that one? We have a lot of vocabulary, you will see. Me? Go ahead, please. Maturity stage. The product life cycle stage in which sales peak and then increase at a slower rate or start to decline. 
Very good. This is an interesting one. It says maturity stage, the product life cycle stage in which sales peak and then increase at a slower rate or start to decline. Let's analyze some words here. So peak, anybody knows what is a peak? Superior. Parte más alta. That is it. That is the top. So when you have a product and you launch that to the public and you have into the peak, means that that is the top. And then it says increase at a lower rate. So it means that you are selling a lot of products and then it stops. Stops and maybe you are selling but not increasing or starts to decline. So the name of that product life cycle is called maturity stage. So we have, you can see here the three stages, okay? The introductory stage is when you launch the product to the public. The growth stage is when everybody says, oh, this is a very good product. I want that product. And everybody wants to buy that one. The maturity stage is when everybody has a product. So stops and maybe decline the sales. So that is like different stages of this one. Um, do you have any question on this slide? Pregunta, dudas? Any questions? Cualquier palabra que no entiendan o quieran que les repita la pronunciación. The, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, yeah. The next stage before a maturity stage is declining stage? Uh, no. No, actually, before that one is the growth stage. Then we have maturity stage, and maybe then after that one is declining. Ah, declining but you mean the first one? Where, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's that it will be a little bit after growth stage. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Only that the. Uh... I'm sorry? Hearing me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I asked him about the the word of the witch, and the use of the witch is um, when I, I use witch, uh, is a verb, is a verb, or because the, that word uh, may may be problem for use. I don't know if uh, you understand me. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay, so which in general is different from what? Remember that when we use what is when the answer for a question, it can be anything. For example, when we say, what's your name? You can say any name, any name of the world. But imagine, imagine that we have a list of names. For example, we have the list of names of the class. So if I am going to ask according to that list, I don't use what, I use which, because there is a limited amount of names. It's more specific. It's more specific. That would okay. be Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Very clear. Nice. Nice. Any other question? Okay, let's go to the next one because as I was telling you, there are lots of these ones. So, uh, obsolescence, who wants to read about that one? Anybody? Oh, yes. Go ahead. Please. Obsolescence. Obsolescence. <clears throat> Excuse me. The stage uh, of being outmoded of unfashionable become out out of date because of advances in technology becoming out outdated due to the introduction of new products processes and or technology very good perfect so obsolescence it says the state obsolescence. of yeah the state of being outmoded mm -hmm. or unfashionable becoming outdated because of advances in technology. 
becoming outdated due to the introduction of new products, processes, and or technology. So let's check some words. Uh, being, what is being? Ser. That is it. Being Ser. is, that is like the verb to be in a general, right? Be outmoded is something that is, uh, is not possible to use anymore. It's something that you cannot use because it's too old. Okay. Unfashionable. What is unfashionable? Anybody knows? Antiqual. That is it. Unfashionable is pasado. something. Exactly. It's something that is not anymore on, on fashion. Uh, becoming outdated. What is outdated? Outdated. It's como desactualizado. Very good. That is outdated. So it's not, uh, I, for example, you know that sometimes uh, on the newspapers you can read, uh, you can use WhatsApp in these cell phones. It's because the cell phones are outdated. And WhatsApp is not compatible anymore with those cell phones. So that is it, outdated. And actually it says that well, becoming outdated because of advances in technology. Sometimes, I mean, it's not compatible something because uh, the technology is too old. So that is to be outdated. And then it says becoming okay. outdated. Uh -huh. Go ahead. It's the contrary of the update. A, exact is the country uh, of updated. Nice. Yes, uh, same moment I have a problem because don't hearing me because my my apps know these updates. Ah, uh, imagine. Yeah, for that is a problem. I don't hearing me. Yeah, so sometimes that happens with technology. That is very common. You need sometimes to update there is something that you need to install or anything like that very good and then it says due to what is due to debido a very good because of right it's like providing a reason nice uh, due to the introduction of new product processes and or technology so Something that is obsolete, that is related to obsolescence, is something that is outdated, something that is not compatible with any. Good. Who wants to read the next one? Teacher, mm -hmm. what's the difference between due to and because of? It's kind of the same. Due to is like more formal. That's the only difference. Okay. Good. What? Uh, who wants to read the next one, please? I. Okay. Place marketing element focusing on considerations in getting a selected product in the right place at the right time. Very good. So that is place marketing element focusing on considerations in getting a selected product in the right place at the right time. So remember that all this is regarding the uh, product life cycle. So we you say place, only place, uh, is an element of marketing. So when you consider different elements, so you can launch the product to the right people at the right moment. So that is to place a product. Okay. Uh, let me see if you have, I don't see anything. Do you have any questions there in that one? Teacher, place? yes. Can you give us an example with place? With place, for example, we're going to place the new food only in the restaurant of Las Terrazas. That means that the product is going to be launched only in that restaurant. All right, let's go to the next one that is place, but regarding distribution. Who wants to read that one? Okay, I try. Go ahead. Place, place distribution marketing element focusing on consideration in getting a select product in the right place at the right time. It's very different to the other one. Actually, it's the same. As you can see, that is kind of the same. Place or place in distribution. As I was telling you, is 
how you are going to distribute something, a product, because we are speaking about products over here. So here we don't have any other thing. Place in decision, this is a little bit different. Who wants to read about place decision? Uh -huh. Who wants to read? Uh, the place distribution is the same that the uh, a marketplace. Something like that, like marketing place, place and distribution. It's part of a marketing cycle. Okay, yeah. It is the same that uh, um, when you go to the When you go to the wall, uh, Walmart, for example, is a, a place of distribution. No, in that case, it's kind of different. So, because when you say I want to place a product, is when you say I want to distribute a product. There are different techniques, different strategies that you can use to place a product. Uh, it's not actually the place of the local, but it's about the action of distributing a product. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, who wants to read place decision? Okay, me. Okay, go ahead. Place decision. The decision to buy from a certain business. Okay, so this is the other way around. It's not about distribution something, but how to buy, buy raw materials. Do you know what is raw materials? It's like the, the things that you use to produce a product. Because this is about producing a, a product. It's going to be just about uh, the, how can I say, the supplier. That is the word, the supplier. Who wants somebody that is going to supply this? I don't see any question that any vocabulary price competition who wants to read price competition uh go ahead uh we cannot hear you oh sorry okay a price competition a type of rivalry between or among business that focus on the use of the price to attract car case customers dollars very good so Price competition, as the name says, is when, well, I'm going to read it first, a type of rivalry between or among businesses that focuses on the use of price to attract scarce customer dollars. So let's check some vocabulary here. Rivalry is like rivals, right? So you are the opposite, the competition, right? Okay, do you know what is the difference between between and among, they are similar but not the same. When you use between, it's a preposition that is telling you between two things, between this and this. When you say among, is when you have one thing between many things, surrounded by many things. Okay, so that is the difference. So, uh, and this is. Well, scars is like customers that they are, they want a product, but they don't know, they can't decide, okay? Because the products or services are too similar. So when the products and services are very similar, then the price competition is very important because depending on the price, because the products are very similar, depending on the price is where you are going to buy. So that is the price competition. Products that are very, very similar from companies that are opposite, that are rivals, uh, and they are competing. I mean, they are telling you, we're going to give you special pricing. We're going to give you discounts, things like that one. That is price competition. Okay, do you have any questions on this? No, it's clear. No, All right. Teacher. Very good. The other one says price control. Uh, who wants to read that one? 
Okay, go ahead, Luis. Price control or controls. Government restriction on the minimum and or maximum prices of certain products. Very good. So I believe that this is very clear, right? Sometimes in some countries, the government, they can set restrictions. In the U.S., actually, that happens. Uh, you cannot have a very high price or a very low price because the competition is going to be not loyal. So sometimes the government interfere in the marketplace. They interfere in the offer and the demand by controlling the pricing. Okay. Uh, any question on this slide? For this, for for this type uh, uh, of uh, definition, teacher in El Salvador, for example, in a specific um, medicines, it is price controls for the government. That is true. That is true. They are putting an eye on that one. They are watching uh, <laughs> that everything is is fine. That uh, actually that happens. In other things, but more, it's not regular, but it's very regular on the medicine, as you said. Very good, perfect. Okay, let's go to the next ones. Who wants to read price decision? I believe we read that one. I know, it's different. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Price decision. The decision a customer reaches on the price uh, the price he he is willing to pay for a good or service. Okay, so this is on the other hand, right? This is about the consumers, about the customers. So the price decision says the decision a customer reaches on the price she or he is willing to pay for a good or service. So sometimes, as I was telling you, there are some products or services that are very similar. And then you, the customer, you decide, oh, this is cheaper, or this is better, or because of the price, I'm getting these all these things together. So they decide. Okay, who wants to read price policy? Anybody? Me? Okay, go ahead. Price policy, a guideline regulating the range of prices for goods and services that businesses offer to customers. Very good. So, price policy, a guideline regulating the range of prices for goods and services that businesses offer to customers. Again, this might be because of the government or sometimes the companies actually sometimes they agree they agree that they are going to have a certain range of prices, right? So that happens sometimes. Pricing is a very easy one. Who wants to read pricing? Go ahead. Hello. Pricing, a marketing function that involves the determining and adjusting of price to maximum return and meet customer perceptions of value. Value, pricing, a marketing function that involves the determining and adjusting of prices to maximize return and meet customer's perception of value. So when you put a price to a product, it has to be very, good let's say so you have profits but not that high because if the customers they perceive that the price is too high they won't buy it has to be the right price for you to have profits and for the customers to buy the product so it's not just for the price right you need to do the math that there are certain uh, the strategy is for you to determine what is the perfect price for a product or service. So that is it. Let me see if I can find uh, value. What is value? Uh, 
is valor. Very good. That is bad. It's like what you but believe. This is, uh -huh. But this is um notice the 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 and the question of the customer. Um in this case, pricing uh, is a perception of great uh but I, I if I am customer, I have a perception of the value of the product, but not this uh, determinated for the uh, value in in the economic price. Um, I I think I don't know if you understand me. Yeah, actually, that is true. What you say is exactly that one because the price. It's just the, the money that you give about a product. But sometimes the value is different from price. Sometimes the value is very high. Or sometimes the value is very poor. So depending on that one. So, for example, for medicine, right, as you say. That's you, uh, it's, yeah, it's not additive. So, and that's why the companies, they try to put their, the, the correct price. The price that is the people are willing to pay, right? Good pricing objectives. Who wants to read pricing objectives? Okay, you wanna try? Go ahead. Pricing objectives goals a company hopes to accomplish through its pricing strategies. Okay, so that is it, as we were discussing before, right? Pricing objectives, goals, a company hopes to accomplish through its pricing strategies. So when you set a price for a product, uh, it's not just to put a number, right? You need to analyze what is the price that people can pay for a product or something. You need to do uh, investigation, research about many things. Okay, good. I don't see anything here. Hope. What is hope? Hope is esperanza. Esperar. Very good. Perfect. That is hope. When I expect. But, but I, 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 uh, if you can explain me because the use of and uh, the word objectives and goals because it is in Spanish. Objectives, objectives, goals, objectives. When you use uh, any or another word, mm, well, objectives is like very in, in general. Objectives it can be something qualitative or quantitative. Goals is only quantitative. It's about numbers. I want to achieve this. Uh, that will be. But objectives can include both. Good. Let's go to the next one. Price skimming. Who wants to read skimming? I want to play teacher. Okay, go ahead. Price skimming. A pricing strategy that, that involves setting prices higher than those of the competition. Very good. Price skimming is that one. It's a strategy that involves Putting the price to the same products, but higher, higher prices. And it's a very good strategy. Maybe people believe, oh, how can you do that one? But that happens. I mean, if you go, for example, and you buy a soda in the store is, I don't know, 75 cents. But if you go to a very nice hotel or restaurant, the price for the same product is very high. Because you are paying not for the soil, you are paying for the place, for the environment. You are paying for the exclusivity that you have there. So that is this, uh, is the same uh, strategy. If you are going to come here, you are going to pay more because this is not for everybody. It's exclusive. So are strategies that happens, happens a lot, right? I remember that I read a story about that one. I, I will tell you right now that one. They said that there were two stores of oranges, one next to the other one. In the first one, 
you can buy 10 oranges for $1. In the other one, you can buy only four oranges per $1. So some people, they say, oh, I'm going to buy 10 oranges for $1 because, I mean, there are more oranges. The price is better, right? And the other people, they say, maybe these oranges are better, are from a different quality, right? But at the end, the two people were the same business. At the end of the day, they put all the oranges together and they went home. It was exactly the same. So something like that happened here. Sometimes you pay more for the same product service depending on certain things, right? Good. Do you have any questions uh, on this? Uh -huh. Only, only commentary. Yeah. In, in this case, uh, we can say that the price is giving. And uh, when I, I think that the company paid a, a, a value L in, in the product. And is the the I, I think that the price higher is um in take the, the, the base that that uh, this is better because I have the perception that uh had a value L and not uh, uh, is or not is the situation. There is something like that one. As you say before, I remember that you mentioned that one before. It's the perception, right? Value is not the same of pricing. And sometimes, I mean, the pricing can be changed depending on the value that you can add, not only to the product, but many other things that can involve into that one. But that happens. It's more quality. Something like that, yeah. It's What's because of many, many things that can be involved into that one. Okay. Nice, amazing. Let's move on. We have more vocabulary here. So, who wants to read a proud uh, brand? Product brand, a name, term, symbol, or design, or combination of them that identif identifies a product and this English is from competitor's product. Very good. So product brand is a name, a term, symbol, or design, or the combination of them that identifies a product and distinguishes it from competitor's product. So, you know, for example, if I say to you, Nike, you know, you know the symbol, you know that this is about sports, shoes, I don't know. So that is the product brand. Sometimes you buy that one because of the brand, right? The same happens in other things. iPhone, for example. People in the United States, they are crazy about iPhone. They don't have Android cell phones. They have only iPhones. Maybe in Latin America, because of the pricing and the quality, we prefer Android, right? And uh, we can compare and we can do many things, but this is a branding Right, Samsung, for example, when you hear that word, you know, you know what is that about? Or that is for everything. I mean, for cars, if you have a Toyota, it's not the same that have a Mitsubishi, right? Uh, that happens. People prefer certain things. And that's why companies, they invest a lot of money in the brand, in the symbols, right? In the colors. So you identify yourself with them. So that is the brand. Uh, so is it clear what is brand? What is brand, my, my friends? Marca. That is it. Very good. So it's unique, right? It's very important. And, and the, when you you uh, read the the, tick, the the sticker of the some same product, uh, hey the Try it, Mark. What is the difference of the mark when uh, with the brand? Ah, uh, yeah. The okay. thing is, the, the other one is like a legal term. 
A brand is in general about a strategy, the strategy of the name of your product or the symbol of the product and things like that. that. That is a brand. When you say trademark is a legal thing, so it means that you cannot copy that one. You cannot utilize that certain things because uh, you have to pay for that. If you use the name of that, you have to pay for, just to use the name. Is it a specific product? Yeah, it's for that one, so it's protected. Uh, okay. You cannot use that. So it's a legal. It's for, it's for, for legal term. Exactly. Okay, if you say uh, Coca-Cola is a trademark, no, it's the same as, uh, to say that um, uh, the Coca-Cola is a pro bar. Exactly. Brand. The, the brand is like a strategic name, but the okay. other one is like a legal thing. Okay. And the same okay. happens, yeah, the same happens with copyright and copyleft. You know, copyright, it means that uh, you cannot use this one because, uh, I mean, it's protected. And copy left, it means that it's, it's registered, but it's for free. You can use it for free. Oh. Good, perfect. Okay, who wants to read product decisions? Anybody? Okay, go ahead. Product decision. The decision a customer makes on the brand, type, model, etc. to buy. Very simple, right? So that happens. When we go to the supermarket, for example, we have a lot of mayonnaise brands. So some of them are more expensive. But it's the same product. And then you decide. You believe this is better or this is cheaper, depending on many things, depending on the envelope, the recipient, depending on the size, depending on many things, you decide which one to buy, right? So that is product decision. You decide based on many things, what is the product that you are going to buy? Very simple. So the other one says product decisions. Who wants to read this one? Me. Okay. Product decisions. Marketing elements referring to what goods, service, of ideas a business will offer its customers. Okay, so this is on the other on the other hand, right? The companies, when they are going to launch product they have to decide how to choose not only the price, but the size, the colors, the name of the brand, uh, where are they going to launch the product. So those are product decisions on the side uh, of the marketing campaign or the product cycle, right? That would be it. Let me see. No, there is no questions here. Okay, the other one is an interesting one. Product development. Who wants to read product development? Okay, Mauricio. Product development. The fourth involvement in the creation of a new product. The stage in the creation of a new product in which a working model may be tested modified and retest. Production costs are estimated and and final details of the product are planned, label, promotion, and distribution. Okay, so this is a very, very important part of the creation of product, the product development. Do you know what is development? Desarrollo. Very good. So product development, the efforts involved in the creation of a new product. The stage in the creation of a new product in which a working model may be tested, modified, and retested. Production costs are estimated and final details of the product 
are planned. Example given, label, promotion, and distribution. So in this stage is when you have an idea and you are going to start building products, right? You are going to test, you are going to check if you have to change something. And then when you have the final thing, then you have to think about the label, the envelope, the promotion, the pricing, the colors, many other things. So uh, the product or service is, is a successful thing. Good, perfect. Let me see if I can find any other question here. Oh, estimated. What is estimated? Estimar. Very good. When you believe, when you do some calculations that but are not the final one, right? Label. What is a label? Marca. Something like that. Vigneta. Vigneta. Oh, very good. And I don't see any other. Do you have any other questions here? Yes, teacher. Could mm -hmm. we have this vocabulary? Definitely. I can send that to you. Thank okay. You. Probably it's going to be tomorrow, but I will be sending you uh, the vocabulary. Definitely. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Perfect. Let's move on. Uh, who wants to read product elimination? Product elimination, the removal of a weak produ product for the market and from the company's product mix, also known as product discontinuation. Very good. So product elimination, the removal of a weak product from the market and from the company's product mix, also known as product discontinuation. What is weak? Is strong. Exactly. The opposite of strong. Very, very good. That is it. So sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes the companies, they launch a product and they say, this is not working. People, they don't like this product. And they discontinue the product. They take the product out of the market and don't produce the product anymore. So interesting that one. Okay, product item. Who wants to read that one? Me, teacher. Okay. Product item. Each individual good, service, or idea that a business offer for sales. That is it. So it's the different item, right? We have different items uh, in the product. Remember that it's not the same item than the mix, right? In the mix, we have like sub products on the same products. And this one is totally different items. Very good. Uh, product liability. Who wants to read product liability? Okay, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I Okay, product leave, leave it. The producer responsible for it. any injury that the business product might be causes. Perfect. This is an important one, okay? Product liability. The producer's responsibility for any injury that the business products may cause. So let's check injury. What is injury? Like Daniels. Daniels. So when you launch products and if the product hurts somebody or damage something or causes some problem, then the company is responsible for that. In the United States, it's very common that, right? If a product is causing some problems, uh, at the end, the company, they have to pay they have to pay for medical treatments. They have to pay um, suits, a lot of things. And a company might be in big problems because of this. That's why they have to be very clear in the instructions, right? Don't eat this. Don't put this into your eyes. Don't do this and this other thing. 
because in the legal thing, if something happened, mind that in the instructions it says, don't eat this and you eat it, they say, but, but we put that in the directions that they, you don't have to eat that one, right? So, because it can be a big problem, it can be a, something that can cause a big situation. And the name of that one is liability, a proud liability. Okay, uh, who wants to read product life cycle? Sorry, uh, only that the, I and the reality war mm -hmm. uh, is the same that the responsibility, and um, but in is the 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 same question. Uh, the use of the word because liability and responsibility uh, is the same question but with the uh, use different yeah liability is more like how can i say a financial term for example in accounting in accounting you can say i have liabilities liabilities it means that the bank gave me $20,000 for me to produce a product. So, yes, I have a product, I have a lot of things, but I have a liability, a responsibility with the bank. So this liability, the work, is more a financial term. Okay, who wants to read then product life cycle? Me. Go ahead, please. Product life cycle, the stage through which good and service move from the time they are introduced of the market until they are taken of the market. Perfect. That is it. So the product life cycle is that one, right? Is the stages, the different levels, the different steps through which goods and services move from the time they are introduced on the market the until they are taken off the market so it's like all the steps all the stages from the creation of the idea or the testing or the do everything until when the company says we are not going to do this anymore so all that is the product life cycle perfect let me see if there is any word here taking off what is taking off Taking off, sería como sacarlo del mercado, ¿verdad? Very good. That is taken off. Good. Uh, who wants to read the next one? Product line. Me. Okay. I'm going to read the more difficult concept. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Product line. A group of related product items. That is it. So you can have different items, different products, but they are in the same, uh, how can I say, uh, purpose or they are related. So, for example, you have, I don't know, uh, coffee and you have cream for coffee and you have sugar and all those products are related. So you can put them together. Good, good. Uh, do you have any questions on this slide? Any pronunciation question or vocabulary question? Good. Product management, who wants to read that one? Product management, a career that involves monitoring and development developing um, one or more existing product. So that is it. Product management that is similar to manager, right? A career that involves monitoring and developing one or more existing products. So when you, there are companies that they have a lot of people thinking new ideas, new products, new services. For example, Apple, they have a whole department just for that one. What else can we do? What else can we add? Cell phones to the tablets, to anything like that. Good. Uh, we have here again products, uh, product managers. Uh, who wants to read product manager? Me. Mm. 
Me. Oh, okay. Product manager, an individual who monitors one or more exist, existing products and develops new products. So that is the manager, right? Product manager is somebody that is monitoring, is checking that everything goes well, and also creating a new product. Very good. Product mix, who wants to read that one? Okay, I tried. Okay. Product mix, the particular assortment of good and service that a business offers to meet the needs, it, uh, needs of its market and its company go goals. Very good. So product mix is the particular assortment of goods and services that a business offers to meet the needs of its markets and its company goals. Assortment. What is assortment? Es eh, surtir, sur, pa, eh, productos eh, o surtido de productos. That is it. Very good. So it's like, that's why it's called product mix, because there are all the products together, all the products that we offer, that is called a product mix. Okay, the other one uh, is product mix strategies. Who wants to read that one? Product mix strategies, the ways with in which businesses handle or manage their product mixes. Okay, so the ways in which businesses handle or manage their products. So do you have different strategies sometimes uh, for different products or line of businesses, line, line of products. So you need to analyze that one so all the products are sold properly. Uh, handle. What is handle? Manejo. Very good. Perfect. Last one here it says product policy. Who wants to be product policy? Me, teacher. Okay. Product policy. Uh, good line affecting the kings of good and service that business offers the customer. That is it. A guideline affecting the kinds of goods and services that businesses offers to customers. And what is guideline? Una guía. Una guía. Very guía. Nice. That is a guide. So a policy. Remember, the policies are internal from the companies. So we have policies so you can manage everything properly, like policies, and we have procedures, processes, everything that is linked to this. Any questions in this slide? Okay. Uh, I guess this is the last one. I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, product positioning. Who wants to read about product position? Okay, me. Okay. Okay, product position. And it's both shoot. I don't know this pronunciation. Sponsorship. Sponsorship. Sponsorship, yeah. Sponsorship. Okay. Agreement. The sponsorship privilege of having its good of service used at the event. Okay, that is product positioning. In a sponsorship agreement, the sponsor's privilege of having its goods or services used at the event. What is a sponsorship, my friends? Patrocinador. Very good. So sometimes the companies, they have a product and they look for the sponsorship. And then you have the privilege to use the services or the products in the event. For example, very common nowadays in soccer teams, right? You see on the, on the shirts, the sponsorship. That is very, very common. 
okay? And they give this product to the company or anything like that. Good. Uh, but, the this is, uh -huh. but, but this uh, uh, sponsorship agreement mm -hmm. is uh, have more, more uh, relation with the legal term or legal term uh, because uh, it is used for the contract and um, another document on I wrong. No, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, if you agree on the sponsorships, you need to hire, sign a contract, and then you check some parts, right? Of where it's going to be, what you are going to do with the brand, the colors, the logos. Uh, I don't know. Many things are involved here, of course. Perfect. The next one is an interesting one. Product recall. Who wants to read that one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Product recall. The removal from the marketplace of a product that is defective or hazardous to consumers. Okay, that is a product recall. The removal from the marketplace of a product that is defective or hazardous to consumers. What is hazardous? Peligroso. That is hazardous, it's kind of dangerous, something that is not good. So sometimes I believe that in the United States, you have seen that one, right? a lot, that they have a, a new product, but then they say, we're going, I, I want you to return the product, return it and we're going to uh, l remove that from Walmart or the supermarkets or many other places because it's dangerous, because something happened and we need to, to remove that one. And then sometimes they they change the defective and then launch the product again. But uh, that is very common in the United States, yeah. Okay, let's see the other one. Any questions on that one? Okay, the next one says product related services. Who wants to read this one? I tried okay. product related service, services that uh, offered with the a product such such as maintenance, delivery of repair. Very good product related services. Services that are offered with a product such as a maintenance, delivery, or repair. So sometimes for example, you, when you go to La Curaçao right now, right, and you buy, I don't know, a refrigerator, they tell you, right, okay, the price is this, but you can pay two years or five years of service. So if something happened, we are going to fix that for you. Um, I believe that almost everybody says, no, I don't want that one, right? But that is something like this, product-related services. So you buy a product, and also you can buy some other services related to that product. Or install the company. ice maker in the refrigerator. Exactly, so some uh, sub products, right? Yes. Another company is uh, Excel Automotriz, Grupo Q. Yeah, they offer like maintenance, they offer for example, in some in some things, in some things like the car, sometimes uh, there is a warranty, and for you to keep the warranty, you need to come and uh, make all the maintenance with the company. If you do the maintenance with other company, the warranty is no no longer available, right? Yeah. So that happens. Okay, the other one says product service management. Who wants to read that one? I am reading. Okay. Product service management, a marketing function that involves obtaining, developing, maintaining, and improving a product or service mix in responses to market opportunities. All right. So that is it. Product service management. A marketing function that involves obtaining, developing, maintaining, and improving a product or service mix 
in response to market opportunities. So I believe this is very clear, right? So um, you need to manage certain things. So all the line of businesses, the line of products are working properly and consumers are buying those things. Good. Okay, uh, who wants to read? Uh, let me check if there is a question here. No, I don't think so. Okay, product service mix. This is the same. We can practice by reading. So who wants to read that one again? Product service mix. The particular assortment of product that a business offer in order to meet the needs uh, of this its make market and its company goals. Perfect. So again, this is something that we checked before. This is repeated. Uh, so it's like all the products that are part of a company that is going to be offered so they can sell. Good. Do you have any questions on this slide? Similar than the La Curacao. Something like that one. So they have a lot of products, right? A variety of products that they have. So they are, that is their mix. Good. I don't remember if there is any other. Ah, we have one more. Okay. Uh, product standards. Who wants to read that one? Okay, I wanna read. Okay. Uh, product standards, criteria for determine, determining a product's avail, ability to meet a specific guideline or requirements. Very good. So, product standards, criteria for determining a product's ability to meet specified guidelines or requirements. So, uh, standards, this is related to quality, right? You have different quality standards. So the products, they have to meet this, this quality, these standards. So it's good for the public. It's good for, uh, for the consumer. So criteria is that one. Criteria is like a checklist. Uh, the size is the correct size. Uh, the fabric is the right. Uh, the color is the right one, things like that. One. So it's a checklist that you will be able to, to check it. Through. Good. All right. Uh, yeah, see, I will pass the assistance. No worries. All right. Uh, you don't see any other thing here. Promoting. Who wants to read promoting? I read one. Okay. Promoting the act of communicating information about product service dimension or idea to customers or clients. That is it, right? When you have a very nice product, you need that the people know about your product. The pricing, the colors, the size. So that is the promotion. Okay? Actually, that is after that one. So promoting is the act of doing that one. Um, who wants to read promotion? Only, only one question. Go ahead. Uh, in this uh, paragraph, you have two words uh, about the same situation or the person, the customer, or clients. Uh, it is um, in Spanish is the the same situation or the same people person. Yeah. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, but. Why uh, the use of the two words in the color? Okay, very good. So yeah, clients is somebody that buys your product in general, any person. But a customer, that word customer comes from a custom. Custom is like in Spanish, acostumbrado. So a customer is somebody that comes and buy your product one, two, three, four times. It's somebody that is 
not it's it's a person that is a recurrent person that is coming to to your business. So that is a customer. And client so, is just a person that buys something. It's a uh, yeah, a special market for say something. Uh, yeah, the two words in English is different. I know that in Spanish it's just one, but in English, a client is somebody that buys your product one time maybe. It doesn't matter. But a customer is a recurrent customer, somebody that needs your products or services in a recurrent way. Good, perfect. Promotion, who wants to read promotion? Promotion, a marketing function needed to communicate information about goods, service, images, and or ideas to achieve a desired outcome. Marketing element referring to the various types of communication that marketers use to inform, persuade, or remind customers of their products. Very good. So that's what it says, promotion. A marketing function needed to communicate information about goods, services, images, and or ideas to achieve a desired outcome. Marketing element referring to the various types of communication that marketers use to inform, pursue, or remind customers of the product. Let's check some words. Um, let's see, outcome. What is outcome? I'm sorry. The Spanish is the resultado. Okay, that is it. When you are looking for the objective and you achieve the objective. Very good. And then okay, but, but the, the question is in the same line mm -hmm. because the result is um, resultado. And outcome is resultado too. And that is the, 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 the situation that uh, made some some confusion sometimes when sometimes, you use words. Okay. Sometimes there are words that are the same, but sometimes there are words that are a little different. So, for example, outcome is the result of a process. But if you say results, in general, it can be any result. I mean, the soccer match results were winning Barcelona and losing this other team. So this is a result. But outcome is the, the uh, how can I say, the consequence of a, of a process. So when you have a process, at the end, you have an outcome process. Okay, the other word here is pursued. What is pursued? That's it. Actually, that is what the marketing companies, they try to do, right? They show you, hey, we have this product that is amazing. They try to pursue you. They try to, to check and help you on that. Okay, very good. And that is promotion, definitely. Okay, promotion decisions. Who wants to read promotion decisions? Promotion decision. Marketing element refer, referring to selection of the various te, tips types. Of, com, types of, communica of communication that market marketers use to inform, persuade, or, or remind customer of, of their product. Okay, so those are promotion decisions. Marketing element referring to selection of the various types of communications that marketers use to inform, pursue, or remind customers of the products. So pro promotion decisions, it means that Companies, they have to decide what is the best, the best way of promoting their products. For example, nowadays, uh, it's very common that companies, they use uh, influencers, right? Or the social media. So they promote their products. 
Good. Uh, no word here, I guess. Okay. Uh, who wants to read promotional mix? Promotional mix, a combination or blend or marketing communication channels that a business uses to send its messages to customers. Advertising, sales, promotion, personal setting, and publicity. Very good. So the promotional mix is a combination or blend of marketing communication channels that a business uses to send its messages to consumers. In example, advertising, sales, promotion, personal, selling, and publicity. So there are different channels. And the company sometimes we use a combination of many of these. Okay. Very good. I don't know if there is any other. Do you have any questions here? No, teacher. Very good. Let me check. That Only is... That here. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Only that the, the, in this uh, paragraph you use um, combination, combination or blend and another word is the mix. And the three words is the same significator. Um, is the, the 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 same line in the the my ask, um, the use of the any word. Uh, yeah, sometimes these are the same as you say. Sometimes you use that one to explain when you want to explain, for example, a word. Sometimes you use synonyms so you can explain that in a better way. It's in, it's on different if you use a uh, combination mix or blend and uh, one uh, paragraph you know you can say uh, uh, the coca-cola and you can blend coca-cola with the pepsi is the is correct if you use uh, that word I mean, yes, you can use one or the other. Sometimes it's possible to use similar words to explain. So everybody understands what this is about. Okay. Very good. Okay, the last ones are going to be for tomorrow, my friends, because it's almost time to go to bed. So let me just check in here and we're going to check the attendance. Okay. Uh, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Yes, teacher. I'm okay. here. Good. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, I cannot edit this one. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm here. All right. Um, Okay, uh, Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Uh, Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Here, teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Here, teacher. Good. Eh, Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. 
Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present teacher. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. I'm here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. I'm here. Okay, perfect. So, uh, the one-on-one -on -one of tonight is for Aida Isabel and for the rest. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's a nice starting of the week. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but I hear. Yes, the one-on-one -on -one is for you, I said. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, uh, sometimes, my friends, since I come from San Salvador to Santa Ana, sometimes uh, the first five minutes you are not going to see me there because I am driving yet, uh, but I'm going to be here on time for the classes, okay? So, uh, good, Jonathan, I got you here. Okay, so it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you, good See night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. Good night. Good night, bye. everybody. Good night. Hello, Jennifer.